In this video, I'm going to show you how to control agent force decision makings with variables and filters. This is a service agent and right now it tries to handle security checks like making sure a customer is verified before taking any action just by using return instructions given to the agent. Let's ask the agent to provide more details about an experience that the resort offers by typing Tell me more about beach yoga retreat. Now the agent gonna think for some time and now it responds back. You can see that the agent picked the right topic and despite all the instructions, it missed following the instructions we gave to the agent. It went ahead and invoked the action without the verification. Now this is because the instructions are non-deterministic in nature. Now, a way to fix this is by iterating over the instructions. But there is still a problem with this approach. Since instructions are non-deterministic, it's a security issue to rely only upon the instructions for important business logic. So we can now bring determinism into this agent reasoning with variables and filters. So let's see how. This is another version. Note, we can now version the agent force. Now it has a topic and navigating to the topic actions and the output of the action, we can now add a custom variable or use one of the standard variables. You can simply click new custom variable to create a custom variable. In this case, we are mapping the output of the verification action to a standard variable. Now here in this example, you can see that I'm also mapping the retrieved customer ID to a custom variable so we can reuse it as an input to other actions needing it instead of simply relying on instructions to pass around. Now these variables also show up in the context tab. Here you can see the standard variables and custom variables we created earlier. And here using these variables, you can now add a filter. A filter can be added using the new button and writing an expression using variables. As you can see, I've created the filter here called Ease Customer Verified. We can now put this filter on topic level or for actions. In this case, I have the filter on actions such as this booking action. Another thing to note is for the input of this action, we map it to the verified customer ID variable ensuring the information flows in a secure way rather than just relying on non-deterministic instructions. Now, if you look into our topic instructions for this, they are much more streamlined and reduced. The variable can be used with merge syntax within instructions, bringing determinism into agent reasoning, keeping it secure from having LLMs modify it. So let's try one more time to ask the same question. Tell me more about the beach yoga retreat. And you can see that this time the agent reasoning is improved and it does trigger the user verification. So let's summarize. We moved away from relying only on instructions for important business critical rules. Variables and filters give you precise control, making your agents more consistent, secure, and deterministic. Consider using variables and filters in your agent force implementation. Thank you so much for watching.